As we learned in our video introducing Clean, making science images from interferometric data requires deconvolving the point spread function of the array from the initial dirty image. The Clean algorithm iteratively builds a model of the true sky brightness distribution by assigning Clean components to the brightest emission, subtracting each component convolved by the point spread function from the image, and repeating that process. By default, Clean models the data using delta functions for components. This approach works well for fields that are populated by compact sources. However, for fields that contain sources with extended structure, delta functions are not the best way to model the emission, and the algorithm can take a very long time to converge. To improve the Clean model for these cases, we can use a multi-scale approach where we supplement the default delta functions used by the algorithm with model components that are functions which approximate a Gaussian but have finite extent, ranging from a point source to roughly the size of the largest scale emission in the map. In the multi-scale approach, the clean minor cycle iterations use a matched filtering technique to measure the location, the amplitude, and scale of the dominant flux component in each iteration while considering all scales together, and then chooses model components in order of decreasing integrated flux. This approach allows Clean to better model extended emission. Here we see a high-resolution band 6 image of Jupiter's moon Europa, cleaned in the standard way with simple delta functions. Here's the same image, but cleaned using a multi-scale approach, with a combination of delta functions and various widths of components. To use multi-scale cleaning, you must specify a set of size scales for the algorithm to use. To do this, you need to have some idea of the size scales of the emission in your image. For structures with very bright and sharp edges, such as Europa, a size scale close to the largest scene of the image works best for the largest scale in our clean model. In our case, the disk of Europa is about 0.7 arc seconds across and therefore the largest size scale we select for modeling should be close to or smaller than 0.7 arc seconds, as this is the largest scale in the image. On the other end of the scale, you should always include a delta function in order to model unresolved sources. In between these two limits, you would choose a few intermediate sizes to model different size scale structures. For Europa, we chose four size scales to fill in the gap between the smallest and largest, which you can see as circles of various sizes on the image here. Once you've determined the angular scales involved, you need to convert these size scales into pixels. You can use the cell size that you set for an image to determine the number of pixels for each size scale. A delta function just has a width of zero pixels. For Europa, for which 0.7 arc seconds is about 130 pixels across in our image, we chose six size scales for our multi-scale clean, using 0, 4, 16, 32, 64, and 128 pixels. Using these sizes and other appropriate cleaning parameters, here's the final result that we get. Because of the choices that we made, this clean worked well the image cleaned with multiscale has a much smoother and more physical distribution while recovering more flux and only needed a fraction of the number of components as the regular clean. The image cleaned using delta functions displays the characteristic stipling seen when we try to model extended emission with delta functions. For any particular data set, however, the exact number and size scales will depend on the structure of the emission in the image. Here's another example showing a complex field that has structure at a wide variety of size scales. In cases like these, multi-scale cleaning converges much more quickly than standard cleaning and produces smoother, more physical maps with fewer artifacts. Make sure you don't choose size scales that are larger than those seen in your image or close to the maximum recoverable scale of your data, as we have in this example of Europa, where we include a 256 pixel scale, which is much too large. This could cause you to include side lobes and artifacts in the model. A wide range of scales is usually best, and you may wish to experiment with different values to see what works best for your data, 
starting with three or four scales and keeping in mind that adding more scales increases the computation time requirement. In addition, including a relatively broad mask will also help you with multi-scale deconvolution. Thanks for watching, and happy gleaning! We've also got videos about many other topics, some of which we referred to in this video. A couple of them are linked on screen now.